good evening one and all myself dr rupasri uh, consultant in obstetrics and gynecology hyderabad uh, now we are going to discuss some topics like molding cat foot succedaneum and cephalohematoma okay molding what is molding why molding happens okay okay if you want you can also take the notes okay let's define molding it is alteration in the shape of the fetal head while passing through the resistant birth canal why this alteration will happen how does it helps okay let us see it is alteration in the shape of fetal skull while passing through the resistant birth canal okay resistant birth canal what happens is about 4 mm of changes occur occur 4 mm of changes occur in the fetal skull or mm of changes occur in the fetal skull because of escape of blood and cerebrospinal fluid okay because of the escape of the blood and the cerebrospinal fluid why why does it occur because see what is the mechanism what happens is the fetal skull when there is alteration what happens some amount of blood csf cerebrospinal fluid will escape so that it easily passes through the resistant birth canal because of the changes in the shape of the fetal skull it easily passes the birth canal what is the mechanism so see this red line is a see this is a mentum and it is the highest point that is a vertex so mento vertical it is about 14 cm and the, this is a sub sub occipitum and this is a brachma okay sub occipital brachmatic actually the engaging diameter is engaging diameter is sub occipital brachmatic it is about 9.5 cm okay what happens is the engaging diameter is compressed okay compressed therefore the diameter exactly at right angle to it it is mento vertical see this is the engaging diameter sub occipital brachmatic now the diameter which is at exactly right angle to it is a mento vertical it is about 14 cm so the engaging diameter is compressed and the right angle diameter to it is mento vertical is elongated just imagine the diameter which is like this is compressed and the diameter like this is elongated so what happens the head fetal head will be compressed like that it will be in the oval in shape and it will be easily passing through the fetal head for this mechanism only molding takes place how does it takes place it is because of the escape and fluid and the cerebrospinal fluid how much how much diameter does it change it is about 4 mm okay this is the mechanism of action okay now what are the questions that can be asked in this are first define molding okay they can uh, confuse you with cat foot succedaneum cephalohematoma or some sutures fontel they can give all those diameters or all those definitions and uh, they can be confusing it so molding alteration in the shape of the fetal skull okay and how much uh, diameter can be involved that is only 4 mm why because of the escape of the escape of the blood and the cerebrospinal fluid which diameter is compressed sub occipital brachmatic so many times i have seen this in the last year question papers that sub occipital brachmatic is compressed and the meto mento vertical is elongated okay these many questions are present here and let us see in the next slide what is the importance okay importance of molding first point okay molding molding help in easy passage of the easy passage of 
पीटल हैड थ्रू द रेसिस्टेंट बर्थ कैनॉल ओके एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट इज एक्सेस मोल्डिंग इज ऑल्सो वेरी डेंजरस बिकॉज एक्सेस एक्सेसिव मोल्डिंग is dangerous because it leads to tear in the tentorium cerebelli okay and also can lead to subdural hematoma okay sometimes they may be asking what is the importance of the molding that is easy passage of the fetal head through the resistant birth canal and excessive molding may lead to tear in the centorial cerebelli and lead to subdural hematoma okay this is the molding and uh, when okay you all understood the what is molding just alteration in the shape of the fetal head is a molding and next is caput we'll see i think when you are working in your hospitals as house surgeon or something you'll be big hat at the time of birth for the baby what is this cap put it is just a cap with a fluid the baby is born with a the simple line cap with a fluid because i'll explain you why i am saying this quotation second point when we define it it is a swelling because of accumulation of fluid in the layers of fetal scalp see actually the fetal head should be like this this is the point it should be like this why this elongation is present why this swelling is present why why this swelling is present see why this swelling why this fluid is accumulating because see the mechanism of action see what happens is see when the fetal head is passing like this there will be the cervical ring okay from there from the uterus it should pass like this and through the cervix it should come out what happens is the fetal head will be in contact with this cervical girdle or the cervical ring the part which is in contact with this the fetal part which is in contact with the cervix what happens is it is compressed so part fetal head in contact with cervical ring is compressed and except at this part the other area like this like this what happens is it is other overlying area other overlying part of head is free from pressure it is free from pressure what happens now because of this the venous and lymphatic drainage of fetal skull are disturbed and it lead to accumulation of fluid in layers of scalp so for that only i have said in the beginning baby is born by a cap that is the cap will consist of a fluid okay now i'll say why i'm saying this word also so according to definition it is a swelling because of the accumulation of fluid in the layers of fetal skull the part which is in contact with the cervical ring is compressed and the other area is free okay therefore this lead to the venous and the lymphatic drainage okay and this lead to the accumulation of fluid in the layers of the skull so people will be confused with other word that is cephalohematoma okay now we'll see this is caput and this is 
cephalohematoma. Okay, I said cap with fluid. Now you just divide the word cephalohematoma. Cephalo means head. Okay, hematoma means blood. Did you all understand? See. Now cap with fluid. See, fluid it is blue color. Cephalohematoma it is because of accumulation of blood. See, just this is a small edema in the scalp. It is because of the rupture of some of the emissary veins in the fetal skull. Okay, let us see some differences here. Okay. It is present at the time of birth. It is formed some time after the birth. Sometime after the birth. Second point, it is because of accumulation of fluid. It is because of rupture of emissary veins of skull. In this, swelling is diffuse boggy okay in this swelling is soft fluctuant okay soft fluctuant unilateral mostly over the parietal bone okay see see it is crossing the midline and extending here for, the, for this so for this purpose only I have kept this image. See, it is extending to the other side. See, it is unilateral, mostly over the parietal bone. If you remember or see the diagrams also, you can get some of the concept from it. Okay, please observe the diagram clearly. And fourth point is, it results within 24 hours. No active treatment is required no active treatment required okay in this what happens is uh, it results uh, in which the blood will be absorbed completely absorbed completely within six to eight weeks okay in this also no active treatment is required. No active treatment. But you have to know the difference between both. It is a cap with a fluid. It is cephalo, head hematoma, head with blood. Okay. It is present at the time of birth. It is seen after some time the birth of the baby. In this the fluid is accumulated. In this the blood. Okay. Observe the image clearly. See the blood red color. And then there is a diffuse boggy swelling and no suture lines, not limited by sutures, not limited by sutures. Here it is soft, fluctuant, unilateral over the parietal bone. Okay, it is resolved within 24 hours and it is resolved within 6 to 8 weeks. Okay, let us see some of the questions. Okay. Uh, they will be asking uh, which of the swelling is present at the time of birth. You can say it as caput. The swelling which is present after some time of the birth, it is reddish, it is soft, luxuriant over the parietal bones means you will explain regarding the cephalohematoma. Okay, which one is results within 24 hours means it is caput, caput succidanum. It takes almost one month means it is about cephalohematoma. Okay, now in this class we have discussed regarding the molding. Caput succidanum and the next is cephalohematoma. Why I talked about cephalohematoma here is most of the people will be confused. In differential diagnosis, they will be confused here. So, I have explained the cephalohematoma by dividing the word. Okay. Now, thank you.